Rumble. Don't mind the Subi Rumble in the background. What we're doing today is finally putting a set of wheels on the Evo 8. Go ahead and rip one open real quick. Oh. And let me show you guys what we're, what we're rocking today. These better look good. I've never really ran a style like this. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Those, those look real good. Those things are sick. All right, here's a scoop, guys. These are XXRs. They're a fairly, they're a very, very cheap wheel, but I've been wanting this style on an Evo 8 for the longest time. When I got my black one originally, I was gonna do these in silver, and then we went with the 57 Extremes. But these things in black on the blue Evo 8 are gonna look insane. Coat it back inside. <laughs> Let's peek it out. Yeah. So the exact model of these wheels are XXR521. The reason that we did XXRs on this car and not some crazy expensive wheel is because they are a BBS LM replica. I really, really, really like the BBS LMs, but those wheels are over $1,000 each. For one wheel, over $1,000. These wheels here, I think we've picked up for about 600 bucks. Dumping 4K into wheel, just wheels alone for this project was definitely not in the budget. So we decided to pick these XXRs up. Still really, really early in the morning. Tire shop is closed. So as soon as they open up, we're gonna load up the truck and get these tires mounted onto these wheels. To clear the front Brembo's on an Evo 8, you do need a 25 millimeter spacer, which we also did pick up as well. And then the tires we're running today are a 245, 35, 18. Actually the same exact tire that we run on this Evo 8. So I might as well link those down below as well. All right guys, we are all loaded down with the wheels, tires, and a thousand other parts that we have for the Evo 8. We got some new beefy jack stands in. Let's hit the road. We're gonna go unload the truck at the shop and then we're gonna hit the tire shop, get tires mounted onto the wheels. All right, we are back at the shop now and we are gonna go ahead and throw on the new wheels. Now there's one specific little thing that I want to do. I think I'm gonna make a Snapchat real quick about the bolts. All these bolts right here, really, really tempted to powder coat them black. They come out super easy. Obviously they don't hold anything together. They're a fake three piece wheel. They look like a three piece, but they're not a three piece. So thankfully on these wheels, they are metal. I can powder coat them. Unlike some other wheels that I've had where we powder coat the wheels and the plastic bolts fall out. But no, we could definitely powder coat these black. And I'm gonna go on Snapchat real quick and just ask you guys, and uh, if you guys think we should do it, we're gonna do it. So I asked the boys on Snapchat, a ton of you guys said to pull out the bolts and powder coat them black. So that's what we're gonna do. The only issue is, I don't know if we have a powder coat gun that works. It's kind of like on and off, you know, the red line powder coat gun sometimes works, sometimes don't. So I'm gonna test it out real quick. Okay, this compressor fired up. So I actually got in contact with the company. I did a ton of reading. A lot of people have issues with this pressure sensor, but they said to make sure you're shooting at below 40 PSI. So I cranked the regulator down on the compressor to like 40 PSI and it seems to be working okay. Kind of gives us an idea of what it'll look like all black. I don't know if these are, these, might, these kind of feel plastic. I'm gonna attempt to blast one. It might be better off just painting them. They feel, feel it. Does it not feel like plastic? That feels like plastic to me. I think we could powder coat that. Is it, it looks like it's made out of copper or something. I wish I had a spare one. I would throw it in the oven. I'm so confused, genuinely confused. Before I go ahead and destroy every single one of these bolts, I'd rather just destroy one. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 15, 20 minutes, and if it melts, then we can't powder coat it. But if it doesn't melt, I don't. I honestly don't know what material this is. Ooh, it's still in one piece, bro. I'm gonna do one little test. Just powder this one real quick. See what happens, I think it's a good idea. Ink black prismatic, the plug.
Bro, I'm about to not sandbox any of these, honestly. Let's see what happens if I don't blast them. Save me some time. I know you're supposed to sandblast when you powder coat, but these aren't ever gonna get anywhere in there. So if that holds up, dude, I ain't gonna blast these. Nah, hell nah. I have no clue these are made out of, but... Oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> I just let them cool down and I'm gonna try to chip away that one I did blast and if it holds relatively good, we're good. And that'll look sick, dude, all black. Oof. I'm gonna send it. Don't hate me, boys. I'm kind of cheaping out a little bit today. All right, I'm putting shoes on, that's it. I brought shoes today, I see your comments. Even if I don't heart all of them, I see the, com I see the shoe comments. We have all 80 bolts on this little plate here. We're gonna spray them out all at once, bake them all at once. In 20, 30 minutes, we should be done. Throw our three piece wheels back together and get them on the car. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna bake those for, what was it, 12 minutes at 400 degrees part metal temperature, so about 20 minutes total. In the meantime, we are gonna go ahead and ceramic coat the wheels. I think it looks really nice. I'm excited to see them on the car and lower it down. We're all finished up with the wheels. The wheels actually turned out really, really, really good. I'm super stoked we went and did the black bolts, but we're gonna go ahead and throw them on the car now and see how she looks. Front, you do need 25 mil spacers if you're running these 18, see what are they, 18 by 10 plus, I forget, 18 by 10 plus 20, I believe. XXR521, you do need a 25 mil spacer to clear the Brembo's up front. Let's go ahead and get them on the car. See how she looks, boy. This is like the game, this is the game changer. The car looks whack right now, but she ain't gonna Bobby's coming over right now, and I want her to, you know, I gotta get a good reaction, so. Boy, damn. All right, here's the tricky part. I don't know if these are gonna look good, but we're gonna run them anyway. They're a little off color. I was trying to match the wrap as best as possible. And I ordered these before I knew we were doing yellow calipers. So that's why I bought them. This thing's definitely gonna be like a stancy stance boy car. That's why we've got a little bit of stretch on there. And especially with these, the specs up front, those things poke out quite a bit.
This is gonna be insane looking. It definitely needs to be dropped down in the front a little bit. The yeah. rear is actually pretty good. Like, I don't want to like slam slam, but I want it to stay good. Drop the front down like an inch, inch and a half. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. I kind of like the looks. I like how the rear sits. The front definitely needs to touch a camber though. It probably looks super mean from the front. Got done just in time. Bobby just showed up, unlocked the door and let her in. See what she needs. I'm gonna go hide. Where should I hide it? <laughs> Why are you both hiding? <laughs> I mean, you're ahead and I'm scared. What do you think? Holy crap. Those um, are crazy. On a scale of one to four goes, how many four goes? Really? Two or three? Two, two f out of ten four goes. It's just so different, but I like it. So you don't like it? No, I do like it. You know what you do, but you don't. No, I really do like it. It's just different. Like, I have to look at it for a second. You gotta test it in? Yeah. Don't, I, I know we need to adjust the height, okay? We gotta do some adjustment. We just got the wheels on. Yeah, maybe it looks really good. What do you not like about it? No, I like There's it. There's one. It, it's the equipment that I need to. Well, of course, Sam. Yeah. That's the only thing. You all something in your teeth. Dude. There's a pepper in your teeth. Mm. Let I me get. You're not playing nice in my freaking teeth. Sam, <laughs> So you do like it? Yes, I really do. Yeah, they're cool. They're real cool. She doesn't like them because they're reps, bro. Guaranteed. She's like, oh, all you can afford is a rep. I didn't even know that they were reps. Oh, well, that, now you know. Mm, maybe that's It's because your powder coat of the bolt's black. Mm, I like that part. Do you, do you like her lugs or is that too much? Too much. I think you need the spiky black one. I have black ones here. Mine? I Casting think. couch 101. What you want to do here? We got to mm. drop that front end down. But it's still pretty flaky. It looks insane, bruh. Yes. It does. I like the rear. I think the rear is a good fit. Two inch gap in the front of the three inch. Yeah, drop it the front down exactly one inch. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna lower the front end of the car down. So let's bust out the jack again. We do, we gotta get a lift in here soon. We're gonna lower the front down an inch. So I'll show the show you good. When I think about what I'm gonna say, it never flows like it should. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right, we're gonna bust out the jack, get that front end up in the air, pull off the wheels, and I'll show you guys how to go about adjusting your coilovers. So this is all we have to do. We're gonna lower the car an inch. We're gonna take a measurement in between the two locking rings. Right now, we're at two and a half inches. Thread this guy up, get it unlocked. I find it easiest to just grab these two lock rings right here. And we're just gonna twist this shock down into the lower strut mount. And that's gonna raise the whole hub up and turn lower the car. Damn, you nailed it. Give her a nice little tug. So that's how much farther we can drop it. We can go an inch and a half lower than what we're at. Whoa, that's low. That's really low. That's how it's done, boys. 
before we drive this car, we're def definitely gonna have to roll the fenders. The tires are surely gonna hit the fenders right now. Probably add a little bit of camber up front. I think the rear will be good with just a fender roll, but being that we had to add that 25 mil spacer to clear the Brembo, we're gonna have to add a little bit of camber up front, which will look good. Let's lower that down, see how that looks. I don't want this thing to be like super slammed though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Should we add a touch of camber real quick? Easiest way to add camber on this car will be from the top hat. So on the yellow speed racing coils, all we're gonna do is loosen these four right here, these four Ellens, slide it in, and that'll give us a little bit of negative camber. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Little roll, little pull, dude, she'll be perfect. That wheel straight, and this one's coated that much. We might have to add an alignment into tomorrow's project. Super, super stoked how this thing came out. Wheels look good. I really like the yellow on the blue. I think it looks really good. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. I know the reps, but to buy these, like I discussed earlier, to buy these wheels and the real real wheel, the BBS LM, so that'd be like $1,000 a wheel, and obviously it's not quite in the budget for this build. Everything that we installed on the car today will be linked down below. The wheels, the tires, the front wheel spacers, the lug nuts, Shram a coat with my discount code. And also, I don't know if you guys are aware, but everything that we ever do to a car is always, like a, we have a full list. So if you guys want the coilers off the car or the wrap, every single thing is in a giant list down in the description box below as well. And I'm trying to do that for all the cars. So this car, if you go on a video of the Evo 10, I try to have a complete list of all the mods done with this car with links to where you can buy it. And if there's an associated discount code, I'll have that on there as well. So it's always down in the description box below. Figure out, I'll let you guys know. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow.